Linux uses the syslog standard for message logging. This allows programs and applications to generate messages that can be captured, processed, and stored by the system logger. It eliminates the need for each and every application having to come up with and implement a logging mechanism on their own. It also means that logging can be configured and controlled in a centralized location. The syslog standard uses facilities and severities to categorize messages. Facilities are used to indicate what type of program or what part of the system the message originated from. For example, messages that are labeled with a kernel facility originate from the Linux kernel. Severities, on the other hand, are used to categorize messages based on their urgency. The severities are emergency, alert, critical, error, warning, notice, and info. A syslog server accepts syslog messages and processes those messages based on a set of configurable rules. Traditionally, the syslog D daemon filled this role, but many Linux distributions now ship with alternatives such as R syslog and syslog NG. By the way, NG stands for next generation. A syslog service uses configurable logging rules to determine what to do with a given message. These rules use combinations of facilities and severities. In most cases, messages are simply written to a file in the var log directory somewhere, but you can do advanced things such as send the messages over the network to a central location. If you want to generate your own log messages, for example, when you're writing shell scripts, use the logger command line utility. To automatically prune files and keep your disks from filling up with old messages, use the log rotate utility. If you found this video helpful, then I know you're going to learn so much more in my Learn Linux in 5 Days course available at linuxtrainingacademy.com. In it, you'll learn exactly what you need to know about the Linux operating system in order to become a proficient and professional user in a very short period of time. In the course, you'll start at the very beginning by choosing a Linux distribution and installing it. From there, you'll learn the most important Linux concepts and commands. Plus, you'll be guided step by step through several practical and real world examples. By the way, this course also comes with a 30 day money back guarantee which means you have everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose by trying it out. So if you can spare just a few minutes a day and want to learn the ins and outs of the Linux operating system, join me and the other students in this course today. I look forward to seeing you in the course.